Hey hey everyone, how about here? Bring a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be going over the history of the Worldwide Download Celebration, or at least formerly known as that, now more commonly known as the Worldwide Celebration. This is the 2024 edition. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So it's good to update this information because this is a major, major celebration that newer players might not have any idea about. You older players or more seasoned players, uh, you might have forgotten where all this came from. And uh, this gives you a brief history, a brief look, and a stroll down memory lane. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and start with your knowledge here. Is do you remember or do you know that this celebration really is a global celebration? And then JP started getting into it and then, of course, then merged into one worldwide celebration. But it all started here in May 5th, 2016, where Global started with 50 million downloads, like 50 million. It seems like that's a lot, but kind of taking a look back now, uh, we're well surpassed that. We don't even know what the number is now. That's the reason why they, they stopped tracking the, uh, the downloads and we call it just the worldwide celebration. But this introduced, of course, the Dokkan Festival exclusive AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which recently got super easy aid. It's just amazing how long we've been playing this game for over nine years, going on 10 pretty soon. And it's just wild to take a look back and go, wow, uh, it all started here in this worldwide celebration for 50 million global downloads. Um, from then on out, there was increments of 10 where we got some celebrations, but it wasn't really tied to any particular unit. So we have the 60 million, 70, 77.77, right? We, all, we love those sevens. Uh, 80 million, 90 million part one, and 90 million part two. So we had a lot of celebration really at a short period of time. So when you think about this, you had uh, 50 million here on May 2016. You had all these in between. Then we celebrated the 100 million in October 24th. And then the banners hit, and we end up getting the god leads of AGL Super Vegito and the physical Broly, which is funny, of course. This current celebration is Broly. We'll get that you know down the road here in this video. But man, remember how amazing that AGL Super Vegito was. It really broke the game initially with those counters. And uh, unfortunately, that Broly was strong, but wasn't a fan favorite, I guess. A lot, not a lot of players ended up playing that unit. It wasn't like a crazy OP unit, not like the Super Vegito. But yeah, in the span of May to October, having doubled its download, that's the reason why they ended up having the celebration. And of course, it continued on with 130. Uh, that, of course, provided Omega Shenron. Then you had JP getting in the mix here with... Uh, 140 million downloads that was the first download celebration that i could remember or in a sense come up with and then of course that led to the major 150 million download celebration that also included brand new units as a dual dokkan fest with the um vegeto blue and the rose man i remember when these two units came out this was wildly popular very very popular here uh this all started in on april 2nd and then the the banners ended up dropping april 14th and this is again 2017 not that far removed from may 2016 right wasn't even um a year yet and we had tripled the downloads and these units that were coming out were just absolutely fire i really remember that vegeto blue was the top leader for quite some time even ousting the uh, amazing Super Vegito, um, but uh, but yeah, it kept on growing, right? It kept on growing. Then we moved down to 160 million, uh, which of, of course included the uh, the Trunks and the uh, Murzumasu. I love that unit. Uh, initially, of course, it didn't really with, withstand the test of time, but uh, on uh, Global, we ended up getting those two units, but JP already had those, so they were introducing Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks at the time. Now, moving along into 170, 180, and 190, um, Global celebrated 170, and 180 and 190, JP ended up celebrating with those uh, units there. But nothing, again, no particular units tied to these particular celebrations. And that then um, led us to probably the most major campaign, which I would say really started the timing of it okay? because you can see like certain time frames like this is May 2017 this was here um, you know October it was kind of all over the place right April banners here 
So now the $200 million celebration basically was celebrated at the end of August. And basically from here, the 200 million till now, you know, 2017 till now, um, we are celebrating this every single year. Now, the interesting thing about this one here is, is an infamous worldwide celebration, right? 200 million and the introduction of the category leads, uh, Dokkan Festival exclusive, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta and Omega Shenron, very powerful and very popular units. However, on global, unfortunately, they're like, well, you're not ready for these units. So the uh, leader skills were to be released. And this was the first major, I don't say the first major, this is one of the major global shafts. Maybe the first major was the one year anniversary, right? So with the SCR Gogeta. Uh, but yeah, the to, to be released situation here where they did not release the leader skills for these two units were just absolutely wild. Um, of course, they've never done this again, uh, but global players don't re don't forget that uh, major major shaft where you're summoning for these units but weren't able to use them as leaders. You had to run them on some other team, and uh, it didn't work out as well. So, yeah, 200 million was uh, was a big one. So again, from here on out, we were celebrating worldwide celebration, or at least the download celebration at this moment in time at the end of August. So that of course continued on in the 250 million global downloads reach with the worldwide celebration extreme showdown campaign and that started on 827 so again closer to the end that was 831 this is 827 so again around this time here and lasted until october so now we're seeing the, the commonality of all this so this celebration here introduced the transforming goku and transforming frieza and uh also i was very shocked when i was kind of going through this i was like wow lr goku and frieza was 2018 and it was introduced in a worldwide celebration and then you just totally forget some of these yellow coin lrs and, and where they're coming from and uh, what part of the celebrations but this was a pretty good one i i remember when uh, goku and frieza came out there were 170 uh 170 percent uh leader skill and that kind of broke the game for a for a while um you know now it's 177 percent, so not a huge huge boost but uh, when it initially came out it was just wild uh very very strong uh defense wasn't much of an issue at that point in time wasn't much of a gold standard and you just you know just destroy everyone so uh moving on to then the 300 million um celebration here this is probably one of the best ones that units that stuck around right especially the kamehameha leader in the agl uh super saiyan gohan that unit just kept on um being good right defensively with a stack ability uh with every super attack um and this also ended up featuring the first dokkan festival is it the was this the you know I'm, I'm putting on here dokkan festival exclusive lr this is the first dokkan festival exclusive lr in the worldwide celebration that's right so um this introduced these new units as the top rarity in 2019 so before that it was just tur's and then in 2019 there were dokkan festival exclusive lr's which was generally only provided in the anniversaries right so so yeah uh, i think cell was Cell wasn't liked as much. I think he he became beneficial. I remember still playing uh, with Cell on the team and surviving uh, with that thirty percent heal factor, right? Getting down to thirty percent and easy is a lot easier to, you know, to get that uh, that heal. Um, and then it also introduced the uh, LR LR fifty one. So one of my you know more famous nicknames to LRs there. So so that was a celebration. I think I re I remember and I really enjoyed. Um, I think it was Cell that it took me a while to get that unit. And when I summoned for him, I think I'm pretty sure I got Gohan pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, I think this was a very very solid celebration. And then moved on to 2020. Um, yeah, 2020 was Majin Buu Saga, Worldwide Celebration Explosive Fighting Spirit Campaign. Um, this, I believe, introduced... I'm trying to think what this introduced. You know, these are transformation units. Um, you know, I think... Uh, yeah, I don't remember what's particularly... Um, 
you know, new thing that they added on to this campaign here. I just remember they were good, right? You know, transforming into Super Vegito and transforming into Buhan. When you're able to do that, you're just owning the game at that time. I think we're, it was pretty lackluster on that uh, Angel Vegeta, which still has an easy aid yet. Uh, whereas the other two have easy aid already um, in 2020. It's still one of the older. It's probably going to be one of the oldest easy aids after Tech Broly easy aids in this celebration. Uh, so we should expect some sort of Vegeta or uh, you know Super Saiyan or another Majin Buu Saga celebration. We've had a lot of them, but we can maybe expect that down the road as well. So 2020, I wouldn't say it was a forgettable one. I think it was still great. Um, I think Super Vegeta was a, a very, very powerful unit. And the Majin Buu Saga at that point in time was probably the best un units in the game and the best team in the game. Uh, but I kind of think it was kind of for a short, short period of time because... Moving on into 2021, uh, this was the end. That's right. This was the end of the 170% uh, meta because after this was the anniversary that uh, introduced the 200% meta for leader skills. I would say this was probably the most lackluster of the celebrations, the 350 million, the Grand Departure campaign. This was with Super Saiyan um, Goku and Full Power Frieza. Um I don't think really any of these stood the test of time. And the funny thing is, the uh, this was the first celebration where we ended up getting um, more LR banners, and neither of these units, uh, I could say the Exchange Goku Vegeta, that was a decent unit, but you weren't running on, on many teams. But man, when's the last time you ran um, Krillin and Gohan on a team? You, remember, you, guys, you guys remember that at all? I, I don't. So anyway, um, those two units were introduced in 2021, which of course then we move on to 2022. This was the hype, right? This was something that, of course, 200% leaders came out, but this was the introduction of a single category 200% leader and a new, in a sense, kind of rarity. It's LR, but it's a carnival featured LR. So the rarity stay the same, but the type of LR was different. And uh, this was the beginning of the Worldwide Celebration wraps too, right? So hopefully we'll get a Broly wrap. Um, uh, when I'm recording this video, we haven't gotten that yet. So cross our fingers here. So 2022 was full power um, uh, cooler or final form cooler. And then you have uh, the Super Saiyan Goku, which started a lot of just Super Saiyan Carnival units, right? Super Saiyan Carnival Goku units. Uh, then the, the sad but not all that useful, I can't wait for them, the EZA is the Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Joint Forces leader. You know, I'll tell you what, when he becomes 180%, you might want to run Joint Forces a lot because there's a lot of amazing, amazing Joint Forces units. Then you had Metal Cooler on top of that. So this was the strongest in the universe campaign. Uh, I think this was top tier. I think this was as good, uh, if not better, than the, um, than the 2019 Gohan and Cell. I thought that was a, a spectacular celebration, but uh, man, they they rocked it on here. But of course, you know, getting brand new type of units, uh, they'll, they'll end up doing that, right? So, of course, now I'm going to kind of move this into the 200% world that we're in right now, the 200% meta. And of course, last year we end up getting the Beyond Space and Time campaign. And uh, I think this was a great campaign, of course. Uh, reverted back to, I, I forgot to mention, in 2022, we actually had not a dual Dokkan Festival, we had Dokkan Fest Carnival, and then Dokkan Fest Carnival, and we were expecting that to happen again this year, but it was actually just a dual Dokkan Fest and then a dual Carnival. And I don't know if you liked one or the other, but uh, I actually particularly liked the Dokkan Fest Carnival a little bit better uh, than um, you know doing the dual Dokkan Fest. Anyway, 2023 also provided us the domain activation so they haven't really fixed this issue of you can't activate multiple domains um we can activate it but supersedes one or other it's just uh, it's a kind of a mess it'd be nice if you can activate multiple uh, domains uh but this was you know corrupted merger masu this was uh super saiyan blue uh or blue vegeto you know goku and vegeta that transforms in vegeto 
and then you have future Gohan, future uh, future Trunks. So very good units, still viable today in 2024, which they should be. And now leading the way for today's celebration, where we where we are ended now here, is the Worldwide Celebration Heated Showdown campaign featuring movie bosses and particularly Broly is what we should be really looking forward to. So really can't wait for the celebration. This is a celebration that is really exciting. Um, you know, again, it spans three months and uh, we're, th- we're partial two months and one long month in September. And I think it's just been a staple of Dokkan. And uh, the question is, will these units uh, keep on being incredible units and will they last? Because there is kind of a history where, you know, once the anniversary comes around, then everyone forgets about the Worldwide Celebration units, whereas anniversary units generally stick around for almost an entire year. Um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this stroll down memory lane and remember the history of the worldwide download celebration or worldwide celebration timeline and if you're new to my channel like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on doconning and we'll catch you next time later